All right, so we're back with the only game where adding LSD to a long list of usable drugs can be found in an update. It's Metro Sim Hustle. Load game, damn it. Metro Sim Hustle is a fantastic game because it's a game of priorities. There was like 50 new items added to the update and the LSD was number like one to or two or three. They also added a lottery and a bunch of other stuff. It damn near looks like the sky is on fire. So hopefully life inside of this game will be ending soon. Still waiting for the ability to jump off here, developer. They added people jumping into the train track. So you never know, they appear to be listening. I'd like to eventually be able to put the toy Toilet seat up as well because I feel like there's an ever increasing ring of crystallized urine that continues to grow around it. Only thing in my refrigerator is alcohol. It's a good day. I still have no idea what I'm gonna do with these condoms. I can't eat them, I can't use them, they're kind of just taking up space. Since they added a lottery though, we're gonna have to see if we can win it big so that we can shower our stripper girl with even more money. I feel like there's some sort of hidden achievement if you tip her enough. Cause I must have tipped her about $500 at this point. There's apparently also new NPCs and a, a new park. Gaudy, get used to being on top of everyone else. Was this advertisement here before? I don't think this was here before. Also, there's a random woman here. I think this may be one of the new NPCs the game was talking about. Hello, ma'am. Before I talk to this lady, you know that one of two things is going to happen if this game has taught us anything. Either one, she's going to want and or sell us drugs, or two, she's going to want and or sell us something to do with sexual activity. Here we go, Anna, make it happen. This is going to sound kind of awkward, but do you think you could help me pay my rent this month? Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, that actually doesn't sound that bad. Is it wrong that I want a normal life? where I can just like smoke weed and relax. Never mind, Anna. Anna, you were so close. <laughs> you were so close to not falling within the stereotype that I had set forth. But you had to let it happen, didn't you? Where the hell's the front cafe? Is this a place? I don't drink. Alcohol gives me a headache. But do you know anyone selling weed around here? As a matter of fact, Anna, I do. I'm not gonna lie. Every single thing I've clicked on so far has to do with weed. Literally everything. Ever since I started smoking weed when I was a teenager, I have just completely lost my appetite. What type of dietary appetite suppressant weed has this lady invented? Apartments. Do you have a place I could sleep for a while? Okay, so this is the first time that weed is not present. Yep, there it is. We're back. I think I'm introverted. I mean, I like hanging out with people and smoking weed, but I'd rather be sleeping. So maybe I'm like one of those introverts that's actually an extrovert. Like in the middle, what? Good to see we finished up strong. I like how this lady is looking for weed in basically every single sentence that she says, and yet she has a thing of LSD just sitting in her pockets. What did she do? Like, buy a pack of Magic the Gathering cards and get the wrong card? How do you screw up and buy LSD instead of weed? You know what? Whatever. Oh, she got a lottery ticket too. Would you like to buy a condom, madam? I wish I could afford that. I just, I just bought like 15 bucks of stuff off of you. Party time. What do you, how do you... How do you do it? Do I actually get to scratch it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, did I, what? You need three in a row or? There's not really any kind of tutorial on this. I'm just randomly doing things. What is happening? What is this? What is this? Can you reset your stats? What the hell? Oh, it's just the other side. Anna, good luck with your pot endeavors. I'm gonna go cry inside of some sushi. I'm gonna buy these from you because it starts at the beginning of the alphabet and I've legitimately eaten so many nuke boxes at this point that I'm starting to develop lumps on my testicles. I appreciate that Bruce Yeatstein is still in here doing sit-ups alone in the middle of the night with his stomach clipping through his thighs. Oh, there's my boy Randy. What are you doing over here, man? You're supposed to be selling drugs in the alleyway, not in the middle. Wait, what? Is, is that another Randy or is that a different guy? Yeah, go ahead and give me a baggie of this. The lady over there is nuts for this stuff. Would you go on a date with me? I'm so sick of these guys not returning my calls. I can't understand why, Anna. Now buy this and shut up. This is not Randy at all. Who the hell are you? Get big or die <laughs> trying. I appreciate that all the updates production money went into animating this guy's facial sweat. Trainer at Muscle Quest Gym. What's it look like, bud? How about I show you 
how to use a bench press. I don't like the format that you asked me that question in. I went over to this guy's inventory and he's got a flamingo plushie in his pocket. I'm going to buy this from you. Yeah, that's it. You buy from me now. What? Halfway through the sentence, this guy lost his handle on the English language. Give me that lottery ticket too. I can see myself spending a lot of money on this crap. Maybe it's just me, but it kind of looks like his torso is viciously longer than his legs. See what happens when you skip leg day? You turn into a roided out Napoleon. With really tiny feet, what does this guy wear? Like a size three? Jacob, my man, I heard you got lottery tickets. Oh, he's got protein shakes. How many protein shakes does this guy have in stock? <laughs> Beef cream. <laughs> Beef cream is everyone's favorite beverage. What's in beef cream that makes it so good? Who cares? Beef cream is in extremely high demand and you need it now. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, banana, what's a birthday cake, peanut butter, and lime macaroon? 100 grams of protein. <laughs> Jesus, it's like they took five steaks and crushed it up. It's like the diamond of steaks. Yes, please give me a beef cream. Uh, can't wait to have the sweet sensation of beef cream sliding down my throat. What what is the what is the the stats on this? Nutrition, hydration, God, it gives you everything. It's fantastic. 100 grams of protein. Oh yeah. I can actually feel my calcaneus getting stiffer. Oh, coffee pods, what the hell? Java boost, absolutely. Sex machine. Really? <laughs> a pair of handcuffs on here, what? Give me all the sex machines. Come on, sex machine. De yeah! Oh, I want a dollar. And I was so happy for about one second and then it got ripped away from me. Wow, one other dollar. I'm gonna have to go back to the blackjack tables because this sucks. Come on, handcuffs. Yes, I called it. <laughs> oh, I've never felt so happy to see three pairs of handcuffs. It's that bodybuilding piece of steroid trash that stole all my shit. Have you seen his ass around? I have actually. I bought a flamingo off the guy. My God, I can't buy anything but protein shakes now. These things are so good. Each protein shake is one full pound. In order to stay fit, I like to drink at least 300 grams of protein a day. I'm gonna be pissing out pork chops. Who the hell are you? You look like a Mr. Clean that doesn't know how to digest food. Only advice I got is to stay clear of all them drugs that are being peddling around this city. I've seen too many folks in my life harmed by all that nonsense. Now a couple of drinks of gin every once in a while. That ain't gonna do a working man no harm, is it? Aquahook, fisherman, where, where are all these businesses coming from? You got any idea what a month of hard labor in the middle of the ocean does to a man? Apparently drive him to alcoholism. Been spending most of my life jigging tuna since I was a 13 year old boy. Okay, I appreciate that you have a $2 frozen nuke box on you. This is probably one of the best advertisements I've ever seen. Give me the cream, vanilla beef cream. So here's the park they added to the game. I don't know if it does anything or what. Like, I'm, am I gonna get mugged if I walk inside of this? I feel like something should happen in here. Like a limb of the tree should come down on top of me. Someone's been hard at work beating the hell out of this thing. Is there like a door you can go through or anything? Why am I here? What is this doing? It's like a giant waste. I'm better off getting yelled at by the bodybuilder guy. You're looking kind of nervous in there, getting that penis enlargement, hey. Don't worry, the doctor is an expert in various medical fields, such as liver failure and gunshot wounds. Both of those things are pretty similar to having your wiener lengthened out. Was that, did I just hear gunshots in the background of this game? Oh God, Anna, she's transplanted from the street into the dark corner. Got like a constant stream of LSD on her too. Hey guys, anyone wanna buy some LSD? I'm tripping over this stuff. I gotta urinate out like 30 pounds of beef cream. This entire urinal is gonna smell like lime macaroons. Just pissed out so much extra protein, the urinal is gonna get swole. How about you, Lacey? You like LSD? You like protein? <laughs> 
What's more exciting than beef cream? Little something for the hardest worker in this entire city. Actually, I never really see anyone else working at all. Like, people stand behind the counter, but I don't even click on them to buy the stuff. This girl's ability to teleport from one side of the city to the other is legendary. All right, it's time to promote workplace safety by dropping LSD and driving a train. Also, I just realized there's a brand new app on my cell phone called Thruster. <laughs> what? Reward your well-being with Thruster. Receive a sanity boost for every 2,500 steps. All right, everyone. Yeah, come on on. It's time for uh, a freaking, like a tiger that's blowing star-studded lightning out of its eyeballs. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think we're going to the right station. I can't really tell. If someone jumps in front of the tracks right now, their chances of survival are basically zero. Damn it, I think I just got a speeding fine. Officer, I swear it wasn't my fault. It was the LSD. Man, LSD lasts a long time. It must be all the protein. Unbelievably, no lives were lost on this particular journey. Selling drugs right out in front of the arcade? Come on, man. I mean, I'm gonna buy something, but Jesus. Can you see me? Yes, Daniel. Why did you ask me that question? Is it because you're so thin? Do you know what you need? Some delicious lime flavored beef cream. Here, I got some extra beef cream for you. I'm not satisfied. I need to find Anna and pay for her rent. But first, I need a strong ass cup of coffee. These coffee pods are so strong, they spawn their own cup. Each coffee cup has a pound of coffee? Actually, come to think of it, each condom is one pound. <laughs> what? Oh god, I put, I put them inside my coffee. It's horrifying. Wait a second. You can... Can you, like, spawn infinite condoms? I'm still caught on the fact that the condoms weigh one pound. I feel like that's a great marketable phrase. Like, that should be used in some advertisement. Condoms by the pound. One pound of solid protection. Hey, John. How's your feet doing? They're still tiny. That's right. Because guys with tiny feet don't have what it takes for one pound condoms. Anna. What alleyway have you been stuffed down today? I appreciate that the ambient sounds of this side of town are just gunshots and random cursing. All right, I have the money for thousands of condoms. I need to check this out real quick. I've just destroyed the entire world. I've bought every condom this city has to offer. No one's going to be having protected sex under my watch. All right, Anna, I'm here to buy every single thing you have on you. We're gonna get you that rent yet. Lime soda. I I clearly love lime. It's the same flavor as all the beef cream I've been drinking. There you go. Now you can live someplace that's not some random guy's couch. Do you have a place I could sleep for a while? Like maybe just for a few days or something. You've learned nothing, Anna. Nothing. Well, I've emptied this entire city of condoms and we taught this woman valuable life skills. I think that's a that's a successful day in Metro Sim Hustle. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Metro Sim Hustle. Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>